Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com um, So I've got a review, another review ROM of um, Chris Kello ROM I just had a video on how to install it um, I really like this ROM, it's based off the Chinese uh, leak But uh, with all the Chinese apt, apps gone um, A lot of stuff optimized and made better And uh, I'm really impressed with this ROM so far Running very very smooth of course you do get underclock to 1.2 gigahertz which isn't too big of a deal because it still runs quite darn fast uh, let me show you um, you get two launchers you get the TouchWiz launcher or the apex um, you can also install another launcher but I'm running the apex launcher um, runs really good there's a several quirks like um, some of the widgets will not load some I think the Samsung widgets um, like the power saving widgets will not load um, I think it might load if you use the TouchWiz launcher. So if you want, uh, ooh, what happened? If you want, uh, you know, Samsung uh, widgets, it's probably crashing with the, you know, the Apex launcher. Um, just load the t Samsung widget launcher, or Samsung launcher, TouchWiz launcher instead of the Apex launcher. Um, I'll actually show you. You can do this by going manage apps and then go to the launcher you can switch on launcher or you can get the launcher switcher too um, but I'm gonna go to the launcher you're using such as Apex launcher and uh, you should be able to um, oh and this that shows you device memory 1.5 gigabytes free I didn't know that um so uh oh it's freezing on me what happened Okay, sometimes it's doing that. Other than that, it's it's a pretty actually good ROM. Um, manage apps. Let me try that again. Okay, here it is. Clear defaults, and let's go to um, TouchWiz now. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, use TouchWiz now. Um, so now I've got TouchWiz. Um, maybe it's having some trouble. You can try both launchers, but. Let's try. It should work on the TouchWiz launcher. Let's go to power saving. There you go. So it's the different launchers. You might have, if you try to load Samsung widgets on another uh, launcher, you'll have trouble. So if that happens, you can always go back to the TouchWiz launcher and then you can also switch back. I think there's a uh, also a switcher you can get off the market. Um, let's run Quadrant real quick. It still runs really fast. Actually, no, before I do that, let me close everything and uh, let's run full benchmark. And I was actually using some of my other phones, like my Galaxy, um, no, not Galaxy S2. I was using my Droid, Droid Bionic over the weekend. What I noticed is the Droid Bionic 4G LTE is super fast. I was getting almost 30 megabits per second download. Um, 5 megabits per second is faster than my home DSL, which gets 25 megabits per second download. And uh, it's the speed was really fast. Um, that's what one thing I noticed. But as soon as I went back to Galaxy Note, uh, I was able to multitask like crazy. After I installed a new ROM, I reinstalled all these apps that I used to use, and it would just load one after another. It just you know, the phone was quicker than you know my hand. Whereas like the older phones, um, well, Troy Bionic, Bionic's actually not too bad. Um, if I go to like my Evo 4G or Nexus S, then everything just takes forever. You know, you can do things so much faster on the Galaxy Note. So the bottleneck is always, you know, your internet speed and also the speed of your CPU. So you both have to go hand in hand. And look at the number I got, 3959. That's on stock. Stock 1.2 gigahertz. That's underclocked. At stock 1.4 gigahertz, you can expect probably 4,500, and overclocked to 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, it's gonna go get even higher, like high on Android style. That's why I love my Galaxy Note because it's super fast. Even though I only get HS uh, DPA on my AT&T, uh, well, this is the unlocked version. It's it, the system runs so fast. You know, I don't need 4G LTE on this phone, so this that's the difference. But I also have the AT&T. 4G LTE version, so I can use that. Um, other than that, it's it's pretty nice ROM. I'm gonna go play with it. Uh, I'll have an updated. Um, there should be an updated version 
later on, but you can see how smooth it is besides the quadrant scores. Um, so go flash it, check it out, let me know what you think. And I was actually having trouble with the mid note, um, it would, the screen would turn off and stuff, and uh, that was kind of weird. But I think you should actually use TouchWiz Launcher with this one, because as, as you see that you get that, that uh, force close with, uh, when you try to do something on the Apex. Um, but it looks like a really great ROM, very easy to install, don't forget to follow my ins uh, installation video. Otherwise, you might end up breaking your phone. And uh, if you break your phone, just follow my instructions. Um, you'll actually unbrick it because it'll use Odin to restore your Clockwork Mod recovery. Anyway, I'll have, also have an update on my AT&T Galaxy Note, which is my other favorite phone also. Um, and it's getting very rainy here. So um, I'll see you guys later. And if you have a Galaxy Note, either version, unlocked or the AT&T, don't forget to... Um, Subscribe to my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips and more whenever I have time, just for you and me. Um, and we don't share your email with anyone else. Um, and also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And I would love that. Um, anyway, thanks, you guys, for supporting my channel. I'm going to go get more high on Android, even though I'm really high, and I had, like, 10 Bacchus Ds. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye-bye.